Yo, what's good with it, YouTube? Cam here back with a brand new video. Today's video is gonna be super different. It's unlike a video I've ever made on YouTube. In today's video, we're gonna be exposing the evil gaming industry. And this is not only just for Call of Duty games, this is really for most all games that's out. I'll say about 90% of games are evil. They are spreading subliminal messages, demonizing generations, and also pushing this damn LGQ shit, whatever agenda. And now look, before I do get into these topics, disclaimer, I'm not trying to tell people to stop playing video games and throw away your PlayStations and Xboxes and PCs and delete all the games. I'm not saying that. I'm not trying to down nobody. With this video, I'm in particular just speaking truth. I'm raising awareness so you don't play blindly. You know, I've never seen any videos or seen anyone speak out about this with the gaming industry indirectly. I've been in the gaming industry for years and not with these guys, what these guys are doing. I'm doing other things. And also, last disclaimer before I do get into all the topics. Now look, with speaking out against a topic like this, YouTube or all social media platforms, wherever this video is being posted at, will try to take this video down or will try to silence my message. I've already had videos taken down in the past when I speak out about other important things and it'll be just like this. So if you're watching this video and it's still up on the internet, I do suggest saving it somewhere or just keep a great note that YouTube or TikTok or wherever this video is being posted, they're first gonna either try to take this video down or they're gonna take it away from the home page to try to get as less people to watch this video as possible. And now that that's finally out the way, let's get into it, man. I've been playing video games since I was a kid, and the video gaming industry is all for kids. Who's mainly playing the video games? The people who has time that's actually at home playing the video games. So you got the kids who gets off school, or just in general, they just play the video games. You got, you got people of all ages playing video games, but you'll see more people playing video games in the younger generations. Even if it's rated M for mature or 18, they know damn well that it's mostly kids playing their games. And then with that being said, they're showing messages and trying to brainwash and normalize evil entities being shown on the video game. So basically, they're spreading agendas and messages that's not good, and they're normalizing it with video games. Now you guys see, now I have several different video games to get on. This is just Call of Duty right here, guys. This is Call of Duty Warzone. One of the most popular game in the world. Millions of players. And same with Fortnite too. We're gonna begin to Fortnite next. But first off, what I wanna start off with is the store. Now. This store right here, Call of Duty have store and they call them bundles, all right? So anyone out there who doesn't play Warzone or Call of Duty, so you can play Call of Duty, you jump into action, it's competitive, you know, be the last squad to survive or 6v6 or zombies. But then you also have the store where you can buy extra accessories or cosmetics. But where they went wrong with these cosmetics, and one, it wasn't even how it used to be in the old days. If you're an OG COD player, you know that you actually just had to grind for everything. Now they try to make you pay for everything in the bundle, which I'm not complaining. But it's the bundles itself that they're trying to normalize and demonize the youth. Just like this Dark Rituals bundle right here. Look at his outfit. Look at the gun. Look at the death effect. The death effect is Illuminati. Check out what happens like a kid. Imagine a six year old kid, right? Killing somebody and seeing that every time you kill someone, they're putting devil signs. Look at these symbols right here, guys. I'm not making this up. I would never come on here and lie. And I've seen it so much, it made me make a YouTube video. I promise you, I've never seen a video like this on YouTube or anywhere. And that's just one bundle, you guys. Look at all these other bundles. You got more like a demon glow. Like, look at this shit. They literally want you to look like a demon. And like, it's more than a video game. Cause I know it's probably people out there like, oh, but you taking it too serious. But it's on way different types of levels on how they're showing this and trying to normalize this. Like real shit, look at this. This is what they want people to have their avatar showing towards the world. Like they're trying to take the path more of less away from God itself more into demonism and that's just a few bundles y'all and look at this another one trapped souls look at this look at all this man and the worst part about it they know what they're doing the creators of this they know of the messages that they're spreading out and just for proof because i know people probably like you i'm just looking at all the bad bundles but look at the bundles in general look at this like there's no bundles and i'm not saying that they have to put 
good looking bundles and stuff like that look at these bundles all right here's the next topic and this is a free to play game and this game definitely has more kids playing it because call of duty is actually rated 18 so they know to have the age 18 but fortnite is rated e for everyone and off the rip i don't i don't play fortnite i downloaded fortnite just for this and look at the logo of fortnite look at the colors of fortnite what are they representing well y'all boys check this out the trans pride flag consists of seven stripes alternating. Now, it's seven stripes for that LGBTQ shit, but another color that represents this trans shit, and one, that shit shouldn't even be happening in the first place. By God and nature, there's only two genders. You got male and you got female, and you either born one of those, and we all was born with purpose. This little trans shit and that pride shit is not real. And another color that these people or demons has made this pride flag or colors light pink and light blue separated by thin white stripes let me go to the images look at the images look at what the colors consist of it's a blue and pink light blue and light pink now with that being said if you look closely and so, like I said, I've never even played, I didn't even know Fortnite had this logo. You look closely into the Fortnite cover logo, look at it. Look at these colors, man. Light blue, light pink, with separation of stripes. So I gotta let my Fortnite update. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that update, and I'm gonna get to other topics. All right, y'all, so another thing the gaming industry also does is put the subliminal messages in the maps themselves. All right, this is probably the worst map in Call of Duty history. I don't know who the fuck made this map, but look what you done made. And also, off the rip, look at my gun. They already selling these Illuminati signs to put on people's guns and all that. I don't rock it. It was just to show you guys. Look what they are having people rock. Now, let's go around this map. First off, they telling people, no war. And like, they just showing all these messages all around. Look at this shit. Toy soldiers report for duty, body count, high score. Just really can't take none of this serious, bro. Look at this shit right here. Make love, not money. This is the message that they're trying to put in your kid's brain while they going around the map shooting and not even noticing that there's messages out here to destroy people's minds. Look at these messages that they're doing that people are just running past worry about the kills not even noticing that there's evil messages trying to be implanted into people's minds now don't get it twisted love is important but you should always be making money your goal is to be as rich as possible you want to be able to provide for your people whether it's for your woman your kids your mom your dad your parents because yeah there's females playing this game too but it's majority of men playing this game and young men playing this game and they're telling them to make love and not money so they basically want them to stay broke all their lives and stay on their game and not make money and just keep making love and play nuketown look at this shit they're telling people they're worth a quarter like look at this bullshit look at this shit who who's the one drawing this shit who did this and then with them with this no war no war shit when in reality life itself is war and that doesn't even mean it's a bad thing whenever you're competing or you're in business or anything in life is always going to be war there's always going to be conflict it's been like that since the start of human time and it's normal so yeah they may be trying to spread a message of no war but that's too soft because war is just always going to continue like if you look at how nuketown used to look and then look at how it turned out to be now they done hired the wrong people to make this shit and they're just trying to spread these demonizing messages still out to the people look at this people like even though they're mannequins look how they're trying to make the male appearance look look at him he got a bracelet on his arm they splash paint all over bruh including the man lips and get your bitch ass on man like look at this y'all look at that symbol on his eye look at how they're trying to make the kids look of 2050 in this i see that they're trying to spread message of peace and love okay that's cool there is there's some hippies but they're doing it way wrong y'all look at this the ghost has to come freedom lie different languages and shit like look at these messages and colors like they're trying to show it all rainbowed out and shit y'all not only that they're showing it on the places where you can see but look man i can't really 
tell or read what they're putting on top of the buildings themselves. But you guys see that they're spreading messages, which is a brainwash in the background while people are focused on the game. All right, man, now check this out. I don't play Fortnite, like I said, I literally just got it just for this video. And we already know off the top how their background and logo is. All right, y'all, and like I said, this has been a long time since I played. I haven't played Fortnite since season one or before it started becoming chapters and all this. But now this is my first time in an item shop in a long time and I promise you, I haven't seen it yet. And it's something just like how it is in all these modern games. So off the rip, there's Lady Gaga. Y'all, look at this shit, man. This is, look at this shit. Why is people playing this game? And then they got some superheroes looking. It's my first time, like I said, it's my first time seeing everything. Even if you're a Fortnite player, probably already seen this thousands of times. It's my first time. And look, man, I ain't even finna get into the music. I ain't, look, all the music in there is trash. Don't listen to it. And no, I'm not hated. I've never in my life been a hater. But just looking at the overall, look at the thumbnail titles of this music. It's garbage. They're trying to have you listen to that in the background so you can copy these mindsets and remember those tones of music that you're going to hear. And look, not only that, while I'm editing this video, every single artist that you see on this Fortnite that will ever come to Fortnite has already sold their soul. Now, what do I mean by sold their soul? They did it for money. They got offered, what, 25 milli, 50 milli contract. Go ahead, go on Fortnite, do some dumb shit. Go do some shit Illuminati so people can't really focus on the real demon messages and these subliminal messages that they're going to be putting in the background for y'all. These artists are basically forced to do this knowing damn well that they're showing demonized messages in the background. But they can't speak up about it because they're the one who's signing these deals and contracts that makes them money. So that's why I'm saying y'all. Be careful with listening to this music because music is another form of brainwash. You know, if they're going to have some powerful, uplifting music that's going to get you pumping, hyped up, that's actually sending good messages out there for the people, yeah. But based off all that shit I've seen, all that music trash, fuck that shit. And guys, I'm speaking on this from an energy perspective because music is also another form of brainwash as well. So they're going to give you what they want you to hear. All right, so I'm not hating on no one who's making music for the Fortnite Battle Pass shop, but I promise you, in all of those songs that I've seen, there's no real positive messages that's gonna help you improve your life at all. Shit, even this Fiesta main stage and when Fortnite have these events, when Fortnite have these events, it's more than likely nothing that's good for you. It's basically them showing their demonic rituals all in front of your face. Like, look at the background. This is my literal first time seeing this shit. And look at the background logo. Like I was saying, they put the messages in the maps as well. This looked like a demon ritual right here. Yeah, they show it as music festival, but they don't know that the kids that's playing this shit don't see what's in the background. Look at this shit. I'm not even in the game yet. Back when I was playing Fortnite, you would just get straight into a game. I'm in some type of menu. They're showing people to slurp. And then another thing with their characters. Most of their characters are females. Knowing damn well, most majority of the population are males that's playing the game. And it's not to be sexist or anything. There's nothing wrong with the female characters in general. But if there's a real war of a battle royale, you're not going to just see females. It's just like some type of kids game. And look at this shit. I don't speak this language, so I can't tell what it is, but it's probably something like Slurp over there. Like, look at this shit. This look exactly like that map that I just came from. It's on all the video games. Y'all, it's the same shit, man. Same shit. Look at this. Look at this. This is my first ever time seeing this. I've never seen this in my life. What the fuck? Bro, look at this rapture. Look at this demon rap. Like, bro, back when I played Fortnite, there was none of this fiestable shit. They even have a whole section for a festival. And look what the energy is just terrible. They want everybody to have an outfit like this. They want everybody to listen to music like this. They want people to have rainbow shiny auras around them. Bro, you can't make this up, bro. This is dead as my first... Every time in my life seeing shit like this. 
All right, man, and my overall message is just to be conscious of what they're putting in front of your eyes. Just like the disclaimer in the beginning, I'm not trying to tell everybody, stop playing Call of Duty Fortnite, stop playing video games and all that. I'm just letting you know to be aware and conscious of what you're seeing. Because there's people out here that's unconsciously playing this game and buying these bundles, looking at all the LGBTQ that's just marinating within their minds, that's normalizing everything. But in reality, this is not God's work. And there is a good and evil on this planet. And I 100% know that this is not good. And the worst part about it, this video is just about the gaming industry. There's multiple industries where it's like this, man. And a message to the leaders, the CEOs, because yeah, it's the developers that's making this, but there's a man behind them that's telling them what to do, which is the leader, the CEO, chairman, or whoever. And my message to you, because I don't complain. If you complain, you stay the same. Lead people in the right direction. Stop putting all this bullshit, demonizing LGQ. Your mission is to help people. You need to uplift people and show them the right direction in life, especially the kids, because that's all who's playing these video games. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't even be having to make a video like this in the first place. So if you enjoyed today's video or found this video helpful in any shape or form, Make sure you do leave a like and share this video out, man. I'll be greatly appreciated. Also, spread awareness. Make sure you do follow me on my socials down below if they're not already deleted by then. But yeah, man. Other than that, it's me, boy, KM, and I'm out. Peace.